My favourite moment was the 2018 World Cup win. It was nice to get that, that win uh, against England who are a great side, so uh, certainly got some really good memories from, from that tournament. Beautiful timing from Lanning, her first boundary. 50 for the Australian captain, Meg Lanning, and it's a high-class innings, this. We're an extremely competitive team. We, we love getting better and, and winning, and uh, we'll do anything we can to do that. We're very aware that it's going to be such a close competition, and um, we're going to have to play extremely well to, to get the result that we want. But uh, we're looking forward to, to playing on the big stage. It's, it's really exciting, and to have it in our, in our backyard at home is something we want to really enjoy. Cut away, gets the whip. And Meg Lanning not going to miss out on that. Touchback came from Elisa Healy. Meg Lanning, the captain, obliges. That is massive. My teammates would probably say I'm relatively serious. Meg Lanning, the, the serious captain. She usually just bosses me around most of the time, Meg. And she's certainly a really dogmatic style of captain. She's quite forthright and um, practical in everything that she does. People like Meg Lanning and Elise Perry have been around the Australian cricket team for a while and doing very well. A lot of young girls are looking up to them and I certainly was one of them who yeah, was looking up to them as role models. The relationship with, with Meg Lanning, it, it's a very good relationship right from the start. Uh, I think we really connected. Look, to her credit, she's an incredible leader. She's continually learning tactically but uh, and trying to improve different areas but I think she leads by example and that's something that you obviously look for in a captain. On field, uh, I think you'll see it, she's incredibly intuitive and has a fantastic sense of the game and where it's situated. Meg Lanning picks up another boundary, beautiful shot. She owns a cricket field, I think, like no one else. You sort of just look at her demeanour whenever she steps on the park, whether she's batting or in the field and, yeah, she just sort of owns that space and I think that gives you a lot of confidence as someone playing under her that she just feels entirely comfortable out there. I think she's a very intuitive captain and I, and I think my style helps support that. Um, we look at it as, as that she's the spiritual leader of the group and she gets great support from Rachel Haynes as a deputy as well and there's some really good senior players there. For me I, I feel like she's growing at every opportunity she gets and in my mind she's obviously the, one of the best players in the world but I think she's one of the best captains in the world as well.